Good morning and a very happy new year to you. Today we will learn how to do mission planning in Cubase 3D to be used for flying of the drone F90+. Plus. We'll click on the icon Cubase 3D. You need an internet connection because we would be <coughs> using it. We'll go straight away go to the mission, new mission. We'll go to mission settings. Here we can see, first of all, we have to choose an aircraft which we are flying. There are different aircrafts provided by the quantum systems. Our aircraft is Trinity F90+. Plus. This is the payload of the camera. We'll choose the camera. The camera which we are using is the UMC R10C. Now here are some settings. First one is the link loss setting or the tolerance. Now this tolerance is basically that if the remote control link as well as the flight data link is lost during the flight, the Trinity F90 Plus returns to the link re-establishing waypoint after the selected time is expired. Similarly, this is the loiter time. Loiter time is that at the link re-establishing waypoint, the Trinity loiters for the selected time and tries to re-establish the telemetry connection of the Cubase or the transmitter. This is the aircraft speed which we can put as 70 meter per second. We'll click apply. In the bottom side, we click on this particular icon and select the map. Now, since we have an internet connection, we'll select the world imagery and select. So this is the, will be shown here. Now, uh, as we know that in the previous video, we had prepared a few KML, area one and area two. Now there are three methods to uh, add the KML or make an area here. The first one is that we go back to the main screen, we go to the tools, we import the KML as a file layer. Now on the desktop we already had a folder example one. Now we add the area one open mission return to the mission. Now we'll see uh, where that KML is. Yeah, this is the KML. <coughs> now, this is the KML which we had prepared uh, in the last video. Now, in order to add the path, we'll go to the add new element and draw new area. For the area settings, as you can see that this is the GSD, GSD or the ground sample distance. Now, GSD is basically the distance on the ground between the mid of two pixels. It is calculated on the basis of the flight altitude. Like at present, the altitude is 100 meters, so it is showing 2.6 centimeter per pixel. We increase this to 120 meters. Now, this is the side overlap, which we generally take it as 60. And the forward overlap, we take it as 80. Now, if we click on show advance, it will uh, show us many features. But the most important thing is that we have to click this terrain following above the leg altitude. Right. Now, we'll start drawing uh, the area using this particular culture. See, it automatically starts putting waypoints. And if we zoom, we finish element and we'll see that a particular area has been established. Now, this is the first method of loading a KML. Second is, uh, in the sim, we uh, see a second option called load area from the file. Using this option, we can load a shape file or a KML file. Now, we'll load the area number two. As we can see, the previous settings are already there and this particular area has been prepared by this software. Now, there is a third method also, like this, for this particular area, if we want to fly the drone and we don't have a cable, so we'll draw a new area here using this option. It will start making the waypoints and this is how it, this area has been established. Now, we have got three areas where we want to fly the particular drone. We'll choose a, a place in between which is clear as we can see that this is, these are all agricultural fields. So we'll set the takeoff and landing here. We'll click on set takeoff and landing and we'll put this icon. Now this takeoff altitude, we'll put it as 40 meters depending upon <coughs> uh, the area. This cone, uh, which is known as the transition cone, 
is at 135 degrees. This cone means basically means that if the um, aircraft is here and it is straight away since it is a EV tall or the vertical takeoff and landing road, it will go straight up to 40 meters and then move towards the transition. If during the takeoff, if there is some gust of wind and it hovers or it uh, gets out of this particular path, this green area, this transition cone, it will return back uh, sighting wrong direction. So we put it as 135 or you can put it as 120 also, the finish element. Now in the left hand side, in the uh, mission settings, uh, we see a transition. Now transition of this particular drone, will the landing part, we'll put it, it is less than 50 meters. And this is, we'll click it here, okay. And this is the uh, retransition cone. The uh, it is basically 60 meters by default and this in the field we have to choose an area where which is clear of any obstructions any high obstructions and then uh, we have to uh, put it there now we'll finish element now, this is the particular plan which we have made for the three areas you will see that the total flight time here it is missing 21 meters the 21 minutes and 20 seconds. Now there are a few things which we have to check. The first is that we'll click on the plots and we'll see that uh, the flight path or the waypoints of the flight is uh, very clear from the uh, ground. Like there, if it, it was a hilly region, there, you, there'll be some mountains here. We'll have to see that this is absolutely clear. If there is some, uh, uh, if the drone in the flight plan, there is some obstruction here, it will show in a yellow line. Yellow line means that it is uh, between 20 to 50 meters, there is some problem. And if it is less than 20 meters, it will show by the red line. While we are looking at the plots, we will also click on this particular icon to see the wind. We will put it as wind too strong and rotate this for the full 360 and check whether if in certain high wind conditions, is there some any obstruction to the flying? If not, then when it's okay, you click this and then you go to the, and then you save this particular mission. We'll save it as area one, save. We'll return to the mission. And this is all about mission planning in Cubase 3G. Thank you.